Let's talk today about rational numbers. Really important that you understand what the terminology of a rational number is. We've talked about integers, so let's just jump into what a rational number is defined as and be able to identify them. So the question today is, what is a rational number? And notice in the word rational, I have a root word underlined. So the root word in rational is ratio. So a ratio is a comparison of two quantities, a comparison of two numbers. Okay, look over here at my poster. How can you write a ratio? A ratio of A to B could be written with a colon or A divided by B, you know, where you have a slash, or the fraction A over B. So really, what that means for us is we can simply understand that the definition of a rational number is a number that can be written as A over B, a fraction. So let's just practice identifying whether or not a number is rational, all right? So let's say I give you five. I say, hey, is five, the whole number, a rational number? I want you to say, yes, it is, because I can write that thing as a fraction, five over one. Remember, any whole number value can be written as a fraction if you write its value over one. What about negative four, which would be an integer, you know, so the opposite of a whole number? So can negative 4 be written as a fraction? Yes, it can. Negative 4 over 1. So what we've now said is whole numbers are considered rational numbers. Integers are also considered rational numbers. So what if I give you a number like this, 2 thirds, and I ask you if it's a rational number, you would think, hey, is it a fraction? Yeah. Is 2 thirds written as a fraction? Yes, it is. So it's definitely a rational number. I want you to realize, too, and remember that, you know, two-thirds is 0.6 repeating as a decimal. So what that kind of tells me now is, hey, if there are decimals that repeat digits, whether it's one or a series of digits in the form of a pattern, then they can be written as fractions. All right? Definitely rational numbers. So what if I give you something like this? decimal that has fours that are repeated. Here's what I want you to know about decimals that repeat. You can identify that thing and say, yes, it is a rational number because I know it can be written as a fraction. You take that digit that repeats and you write it over nine. So four ninths is the fraction equivalent of the decimal 0.4 that's repeating. So hey, 0.4 repeating is a rational number, okay? All right, so we're practicing and understanding all these rational numbers. What if I give you some decimals and I say, hey, can you recognize whether or not this thing is rational? You know the decimal 0.5 can be read as 5 tenths if you read that thing correctly, which reduces to 1 half, so guess what? Boom, that thing is also a rational number. They're everywhere. All right, now you're probably thinking, well, what kind of number would not be a rational number? All right, well, one that doesn't repeat, a decimal that doesn't repeat, or a decimal that doesn't terminate. This is a terminating decimal. It's ended. This one repeats. Well, what in the world is an example of a decimal that goes on and on forever? Well, say pi. I know you've probably heard of pi. That's a Greek symbol representing the ratio of the circumference divided by the diameter of all of the circles in the universe. Okay, we'll talk about that kind of later in the year, but just trust me on this. This represents a decimal value that goes on forever without a repeated pattern. It doesn't stop. Let me see if I can remember some of the digits of pi. I think it's, I have to sing the song to do it. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, one, five, one, two, one, six, five. I can't remember all of them, but there's the idea. Pi goes on forever. Therefore, this value is irrational. If you put I or IR in front of a word, it negates the meaning. I hope this helped you understand the definition of rational numbers.